Hello boys and girls, guess what time it is? It's story time! Hello everyone, welcome back to another story time with Miss Marcia. Um, before we sing our song, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. And if, it's, if this is your first time, welcome. If you're a continued subscriber and you continue to watch, welcome back and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining. So let's sing our song. It's story time, it's story time. You haven't got to pay a dime. If you want to have some fun, get a comfy seat and sit right down. Now listen very carefully, for you can learn as much as me. Make believe in what you hear, these stories I shall read to you. La 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 And our story today is Float. Now this book has no words. This book just has pictures. And with these pictures, you have to go through them page by page and you can talk about it with your parent, teacher, but we're going to go through it and I'm going to talk about it with you. So it's called Float by Daniel Mayares. Float. So let's see what this. What floats? What do you think? What are some of the things that can float and what do they float on? Okay, so there we have it. We have two sets of hands. So a parent is there and a child and they're using newspaper or magazine. What do you think they're gonna make? Let us see what they're gonna make on the other page. <gasps> they're finished! So our character came out the house. He has a paper boat in his hand and he is moving along <gasps> with his paper boat you can see it over the fence where do you think he's going with that paper boat <gasps> let's see oh and it has started you see a rain cloud he has on raincoat he is well dressed for the weather and it has started to rain what do you think will happen to his paper boat? Look what he did. He's covering it under his raincoat. So what's next? Ooh, wow. That is a lot of rain. We can hardly see him in there because of so much rain, but he's there and he's going somewhere. Let's see where he's going. Ooh, the rain has stopped. Where was he going? He has found a puddle and he's ready to sail. He's ready to sail his boat. Ooh, look who's enjoying the puddle too. <laughs> the birds are enjoying the puddle. They're probably so happy for that puddle. And look at him. Ooh. Oh, he took his boat up and he's having fun in that puddle now. He's jumping. He's jumping. He's jumping with his paper boat in his hand. He's having so much fun. Oh, wow. And what is happening? Oh, he is looking at his reflection in the water. Oh, do you think he's gonna put his paper boat into that stream? What do you think is gonna happen to the paper boat? Look at it, it's sailing away. Oh, look at him, he's trying to run along to get his paper boat. 
do you think that he's gonna get it? Mm. He's probably said, Stop! Wait up, paper boat! I'm coming, wait for me! So he's running along. That little stream in the street. There's no cars around. There are no cars around right now. So he can be there. Ooh, he's trying to get his paper gold. Let's hope that he gets it. Uh-oh. He is at a pedestrian crossing and he has to wait. So his paper boat is going across. Ooh, look at it go. Now he is crossing. It's safe for him to cross. So he went across. And he is running now because the paper boat doesn't stop. It's not waiting. There's enough water for it to float along. Would he find it? Oh no! It went through one of these streets in the street. Would he get it? Do you think? Wow! Look at him. He's looking. It's now under the bridge. He's looking. Can we actually see it? No, we can't see it as yet. See? Can you see it? No, I don't see it there as yet. Would, would he ever find it? Oh, he did. But look at it. How do you think he's feeling now? You see, it came out from there. And he got a stick. And he took it up. And where is he going? Oh, it starts raining again. Look at him. Oh, he's going back home with his paper and with his stick, see? And the stick is still in his hand. And we can see his shadow right, right there too. He's passing by his friends. Okay, so he is home. And his parents is there opening the door for him. And he's feeling all sad. Oh, he gets a nice big hug. He is all wet, so he has to take off his clothes. His hair has to be dried. He has to dry up. And let's see what's gonna happen after that. He gets a nice cup of hot chocolate, the steaming cup of hot chocolate. And <gasps> more paper. So what are they gonna do with this paper now? Let's find out, let's see. Do you think they'll make another boat? Look at him, he's ready. But what does he have in his hand? Can you see that? He has a paper airplane this time. So no paper boat anymore. He's not going floating because there's no water. The sun is out. So all the water will be gone from the street. So he's about to fly his airplane in the air. Do you think he will lose it, like the boat? We don't know, but you can just guess. Okay, so these are the these are the ways how you can make a paper airplane. The end. Hope you enjoyed the book, Float. And as I said, it's just a picture book that you have to just look at the pictures and see what the character is doing. So. If you did enjoy it, 
please like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you next time around on another story time with Miss Marcia. Take care now and bye.